A long time ago, there was no moon. There was only the sun. The creator had messengers who helped him. One of these was the caretaker of the sun, who had two children, a girl and a boy. All three lived in the sky world, and they were very happy. The daughter looked after the camp, keeping it clean and tidy. When she shook the feather bedding, the feathers would fall to the earth as snow. The sun hunted and fished, and when he hung his nets to dry, droplets fell to earth as rain. The father worked all day, keeping the great fire burning on the sun. He was very old and soon would leave his children for the spirit world. He said to them, When I die, you must keep the fire burning, or else the people and animals on earth will die. One day when the fire was low on the sun, the father came home tired. He said, Children, my children, I must go now. And into the spirit realm he went. The children cried and mourned for their loss. In the morning, it was time to start the sun's fire, and the children began to fight over who would do the task. I will tend to the fire. I'm older, yelled the sister. No, I'm the man. I'll do it, yelled the brother. The people on earth began to worry. Why is the sun so late? Shouldn't it be here? Where's the sun? Wasaki Jack, the great trickster, also was worried and went to the sun to investigate. When he arrived, he saw the boy and his sister fighting. Wasaki Jack stomped his foot like thunder. The people and animals will perish, he yelled. He pointed to the boy and said, It's up to you. You keep the fire burning. You are now the caretaker of the sun. And to the sister he said, You too will work as hard as your brother. You will keep the fire in another place, and you will work only at night. From now on, you will be the caretaker of the moon. Knowing the two of you cannot get along, you will only see each other once a year from across the sky. And so it happened. Even now it is so. A fire always burns day or night, illuminating the way, shining its light.